DAP 4.7, we have added two new features that will make DAP even better. To eliminate all WordPress sync issues caused by username conflict, we have completely revamped our username generation roles in DAP. If you are on DAP 4.7 or above, you can now define how you want the username to be generated for your members. We have also added a new email tracking feature. It will allow you to track the status of the emails that you broadcast using DAP. Currently, the username is defaulted to first name and last name, but starting DAP 4.7, you can configure the options you want for the username generation on your site. This will apply to free registration as well as paid products. DAP will use the generated username to sync to WordPress as well as to the free WordPress-based forum plugins like BBPress, SimplePress, BuddyPress, etc. Now let's take a look at how you can define username generation rules for your site. You'll have three different options. Option 1 will have the highest priority followed by option 2 and then option 3. Under each option you can pick any one of the five different rules. Say you selected set to first name plus last name as your option 1, set to first name last name plus three digit random number as your option 2 and set to random alphanumeric string as your option number 3. Now when a user registers, DAP is going to first try and use option 1 to generate the username. If that fails because of a conflict, because the username already exists, then DAP will move on to option 2 and try this rule to generate a username. If this one fails too, then DAP will move on to option 3 and try this rule to generate the username. Because of these different options, you no longer have to worry about sync failing or forum sync failing because of a username conflict. Another cool thing about this feature is you can allow your users to pick a username in their DAP profile. In this case, DAP will not automatically generate a username. You can set your option 1 to allow users to pick a username. In this case, option 2 and 3 will be ignored. It doesn't matter what you set it to. Now, only when the users go to their user profile page on your site and pick a username and save the page, DAP is only then going to sync the user to WordPress. If you want to allow your users to pick a username in their DAP profile and not have DAP automatically generated, then make sure that in WordPress related section, sync only if username exists in DAP is set to yes. This way DAP will only sync to WordPress after the user picks a username in their DAP profile page. We have also improved the DAP job queue feature a great deal in DAP 4.7. It has several new features. Currently, if your job queue becomes too big, then the page might not load or it might time out. This can happen especially after you send out a broadcast email to a lot of users. But this will no longer happen in DAP 4.7 because we have added pagination. The page will not load endlessly. You can configure the number of records that you want to see per page in the job queue in DAP setup config page. If you use DAP to broadcast emails to your users, then in DAP 4.7, after you schedule a broadcast email, you're going to receive a tracking ID. Copy this tracking ID somewhere and save it because you can use this to track the status of that email broadcast job. You can enter the broadcast tracking ID in this text box and do a search in the DAP system job queue and it will tell you all about that broadcast job. You can select one of the following options. You can say view all jobs or you can say view fail jobs in this broadcast. It will tell you all about the users that did not receive the email because the delivery failed. Or you can say show me a list of all successful jobs and it will tell you all the users that actually received the email. So you can search by different categories here and it will tell you the count in each category. If you sent out a broadcast job and you want to know whether a particular user received that email or not, then you can enter the email ID of that user in this text box, enter the tracking ID of that broadcast job and do a search and it will tell you all about this user. It will tell you whether or not this user received the email. Please note that if you use DAP email broadcast to send out emails to your users, then as soon as you schedule a broadcast email, it will first land on DAP system job queue and it will have a status of new. You will see something like this sitting on the job queue as soon as you schedule the broadcast job. Now when the DAP cron job runs at the top of the hour after the broadcast has been scheduled, that's when the emails will get sent. Now if the cron job has been set up correctly on your site, it should run once every hour at the top of the hour. If the cron job is not running on your site, then the broadcast email will not get sent. So make sure that the cron is set up correctly and you can watch the status of when the cron ran last right here on your job queue page. This is again a new feature. It will report on when the cron ran last on your site. 
Please note that DAP uses the email sending limit that you set in the email SMTP page. If your web host only allows about 200 emails per hour, then do not exceed that limit. Make sure to set that limit in the email SMTP page. Now when the DAP cron job runs once every hour, it is going to follow the limit that you have set in the email SMTP page to send out the emails. If you have about 1000 emails in the broadcast job and your sending limit is 200 per hour, then it could take DAP about 5 hours to deliver those 1000 emails. You can track the status of the emails by entering the tracking ID of that broadcast job here. You can check it once every hour to see how many emails got sent. We hope you like these new features. You can now search jobs by date, by email, by broadcast tracking ID, by job status. You can also see the status of when the cron job ran last on your site. This is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching.